So here, after 22 games, score is 11-11. Situation is very tense, just as in the match, both winning Bronstein in the lecture that uh, we presented to you. Score is 11-11 and Karpov needs to win the match to get his title back that he lost in 1985, and this was 1987, and Kasparov needs to draw the match 12-12 in order to retain the world champion. So Grunfeld defense, c4, c5, knight f3, Knight f6, Knight c3, d5, cd, Knight takes d5, d4, Knight takes c3, b takes c, g6. With the transposition, we got very well known position of uh, Grunfeld defense. Now, after g6, e3 was played, bishop g7, now, this is, as I mentioned already, Greenfield defense, now, bishop d3, castle, castle, queen c7, rook b1, those are all opening moves so far, b6. Queen e2, rook d8. <clears throat> now, normal move is a4 in this position. Try to play a5. Black would go probably knight c6. Karpov played bishop e4. <coughs> Now, we are not going to just analyze this game. We're going to look at it from the point of was there a conspiracy or not? So, the accent I'm making on what was so suspicious in the moves that were played in this game. Bishop e4, so far I have absolutely no suspicion of any kind. Bishop a6, c4, We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.